Current treatment is you start with um, with getting the blood work to see where they're at. You want to see what their fasting blood sugars are, what their hemoglobin A1C is. If they're they're not too far out of control, we can start just with diet. Diet and lifestyle is the most important treatment for any type of uh, type two diabetes, because lifestyle and diet is what causes most diabetes. And people that hasn't progressed too far can actually, with diet and lifestyle control, and even reverse the diagnosis. First, you need a healthy diet that has plenty of fresh vegetables and fruits and whole grains. And what you need to avoid is actually what is important. You need to avoid anything that has refined sugar in it. And the big culprit would be sodas. Sodas have so much sugar in them and, and people don't realize how much sugar is, but there's like um, 10 or 12 or 15 teaspoons in one serving of say Coca-Cola or Pepsi or any of the, uh, of the sugar you saw just have um, a lot of sugar in them. So if you were to take a glass, an empty glass, and just shovel uh, with a teaspoon, put uh, sugar in the, that was in, a, in a soda into a, a glass, uh, in a glass you might get almost a third of the way full of just pure sugar. And when you drink one of those and you have diabetes, or so the tendency to have diabetes, your body has to metabolize that sugar. And it's a real strain, whether you're diabetic or not, it's just too much. And then we get sugar in we so many um, desserts and everything has a lot of sugar in it. Then the other thing that we have to avoid is refined uh, carbohydrates, such as white flour. So if we can avoid the sugars and the white flours, you're about 90% there as far as controlling diabetes, along with lifestyle, which would include getting exercise. That can just be walking 20 or 30 minutes every day. In this time of year when it's so hot, you want to do that early in the morning or after sunset when the sun's gone down so you don't get overheated.